Hello and welcome in this lecture in which we're going to discuss wall art printables. So, what exactly are wall art printables? We have an image in the background of this slide here that showcases to you what wall art printables are, and there's huge demand for them. Huge demand. If you just understand the audience, the niche, what they need, what they want to buy. And if you create those things, and luckily you don't need to actually create those things because ChatGPT can do it for you. Here we have an example of some wall art printables that were generated using ChatGPT itself. So the designs that you see, all of them were designed, including the word, including the text that says "Embrace your oddities." That was also generated using ChatGPT, except for the one in the middle. The design was generated using ChatGPT, but the text I added it with Canva, and you can see there that it's quite not consistent with the design. So let's go ahead right now and let me show you how you can create these particular wall art printables. But first off, we have another sample here. These ones are some incredibly looking designs, and as you can see, they're looking pretty fabulous, right? And those are also some things that you may be interested to create. So go ahead and chat GPT. Open up a new chat by clicking here at the top button, and then we can get started. So the first prompt I have for you is a abstract image that captures the essence of a cosmic landscape. Blending vibrant nebulas, star fields, and distant planets with fluid, dreamlike textures. The color palette should consist of deep blues, purples, and pinks, creating a mesmerizing and contemplative piece of art. So I'm going to go ahead, copy this prompt here, and then head back into ChatGPT. And all I need to do is to paste it in. And notice that after I paste it in, it's going to go ahead and generate it. Now, if you'd like to generate these types of arts, first of all, go to Etsy. Look up wall art, right? Wall art, but look printables, not wall art, normal wall art, wall art prints or or wall art printables. That's how they're listed as on Etsy. Prints is more famous and、uh, also pretty easier to write because it's shorter. And you can notice here all kinds of designs. Now, if you're interested in abstract art, then notice here you can generate and sell abstract art as a digital download. Of course, you can sell it as a PDF. Right or as a zip file, however, however you want to sell it, however you feel your customer is going to be impressed by. And then here we have some other types. You know, apart from the、uh, abstract ones, you have the portraits. So if you're maybe if you like to sell these types as well, you can sell them portraits like this, for instance. This one here, this is just one actually, and it's a digital download. So it's not even a physical product, and it's doing quite well. Right, so it's it's got 197 reviews, and to be honest with you, I, I kind of like it. So it's just an understanding of the audience, understanding of what the Etsy people are looking for, and you do that by keyword research. So you go to the web, you look at forums, you look at what people are interested in, and then you create something that they are interested in, not something that you are interested in. Go out there and look for what are the most sold printables on Etsy. Just do this on Google. What are the top selling Etsy printables? And what are the top niches to sell printables? And then you're going to get some ideas, right? And you can use your creative imagination with a tool like ChatGPT at, at, at your arsenal.、Uh, you can actually use it to not only do keyword research, but also give you the suggestions for the images to generate, generate images for you, refine the images for you. I've shown you how you can use Placeit to create mockups, and I'm going to also show you how you can do that in this particular lecture over here. And there's also another type of printables that you can create, which is printables with text. Kind of like the ones that I've shown you, like this. Good things takes time. For example, I can show you how you can create this one. Now, this is a digital download, just one, and it is it is selling like crazy because it has 900 reviews, and just for this one, it's selling good. So you don't need to create a thousand、uh, images and put them as a bundle of a thousand wall art printables. You can just create one good printable and sell it. Okay. And we're gonna actually take inspiration from this, but first off, let's go back into ChatGPT. So here, notice that this is the picture, right? So this is a pretty interesting picture, isn't it? We're gonna add two more to it, right? So I'm gonna take a Japanese garden, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and copy this right here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna paste it in, right? Create an image of a Japanese Zen garden featuring raked sand patterns and so on and so forth. And right now, this platform that I've introduced you to before, which is Placeit.net, they offer you access to a lot of mockups. So if I search for wall art, right, mockup, you'll find there's plenty of wall art mockups, and there's wall art mockups if you're selling a bundle of designs. For example, let's say 
that you're selling three images. You can actually use a wall art for three images. For this particular application, I'm going to be using just one wall art mockup for one image. So I'm going to be picking uh, one that fits my image here, which is a more of a squared image. So let's go right back here and see now which ones are square that I think are going to do well and match with this design. Now we have plenty, of course. I'm going to go with this one here because it's a, a pretty different style. And so I'm going to click it. This needs an image with a size of uh, basically, I don't know, maybe, let's see, 800 by 900. Uh, but that's okay. I can use that image. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to canva.com. And let me show you. Now, this is actually a video, uh, which is pretty good because you can use it for promotion for your printable. Now, here in Canva, click on Create a Design as usual. And then you have the option to click here on the custom size. So select the size that they want, which is 800 by 900 pixels. Go back into ChatGPT and click on this image of the nebula. And all, what you need to do is to copy the image and head back into the Canva tab right here. And you can go ahead and paste this in and name it Nebula something. So after we pasted this image in, you can actually edit it. So I can edit this, add a little bit more brightness to it, a little bit more contrast to it, and so on and so forth if you'd like to make it a little bit different. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some count contrast, some saturation, some brightness, and you can see that now it looks a little bit better. And you can say Nebula Wool Art Image. And now I can download this inside of Canva, and I head back into Placeit.net, and here I can insert my image by clicking Insert, Upload from my device, put the image in. Now there's an audio to the video. First of all, let's crop. Here, I don't need this audio, so I'm going to remove the audio, and I'm just going to keep the image, and you'll see that right now the image is going to be pasted on top, and it's going to be pretty fabulous. Now you can also control the poster color if you'd like, I just leave it like that, and then you can click play on all slides. And there you go. Right now it is rendering the video for you that you can go ahead once it's done and download. But now let me take a moment to go back into chat DPT here in which I can go and revisit the other designs. So this one is an incredible design that you can sell, a Japanese Zen garden. Imagine how this can do on in wall art. Now I could go on and generate more designs, but I'm interested in creating a, what you call it, a bundle of designs. So I would ask it to create, generate two more similar wall or designs to that one. And if you mention wall art, uh, you have a risk of actually it going and generating a mock-up image for you, which you don't want to. You want it to generate the design and then you can go to place it, put it on top of a mock-up so that you can use it in your promotions, for instance, on Etsy, okay? Now, here, I'm sure that this has been rendered. I just need to click download and notice it looks pretty fabulous. I really like it. And just wait because it can take some time for place it to download a video. And then you can click to download, in which case the video is going to be downloaded super fast after you click the button. And we can go ahead and watch it right now. So... This is a video that you can utilize as part of your promotional campaign for the product, which is in this case a wall art printable. I have removed the sound from it, so there is no sound, but this is more than enough to promote your your PDF visual download. Now, let me head back into here, into ChatGPT to see the other designs. So I asked it to generate two more. It only generated one. So I'm going to say generate one more, please. And it's going to generate one more, which is pretty much similar to this. And then before it does, I would like you to go to place it and then look for wall art. Just look for wall art. Now, of course, assuming you have a membership in place it, because without a membership, you will not actually be able to do what we're doing here. And let's say you are looking for a wall art printable that is displaying three wall arts, or three printables. Click on this one. It has two. But the good thing is that if you click on one that has to, on the right-hand side, they're going to suggest uh, some that you might like. And some of them can actually have more than one. They can have three. So for instance here, I don't see any one. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to say three wall art prints. Or just mention the three wall art 
without anything else. And if I hit enter now with the number three in there, it's supposed to go ahead and fetch uh, some design that has three. Or I should just search for it myself. Uh, let me just keep clicking. There you go. We found one here. There's also this one here. But this one is only displaying one. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to choose this one here. And then what you do... And by the way, you can also sell, you know, just out-of-the-box design. So it's not, so it doesn't have to be abstract kind of design. So pick your niche, please. Pick your niche and you have the tool. The tool that normally generates the images, you have it. Okay. Now I'll leave that to be rendered. And I'll go back and have a look at some of these other designs. And you can see that we have now three designs that can be part of a suit of designs. Now, one thing here, in order for us to be able to generate these images, we need 600 by 800 pixel images. So I'm going to go back here. Instead of 800 by 900, I'm going to make it 600 by 800 and cre click on creating design. In the meantime, I would go and start from the image in the bottom. I'm going to click on this image right here. Copy right-hand side. Go back into Canva. Click here. Control V to paste. And then for this one, we're not going to incur any modifications to it. We're just going to make it into a background image. Now, actually, just do it again. Okay, so I think I copied the URL. I need to copy the image. I'm going to copy the image again and come back. Because when you copy the URL, Canva will let you know. When you copy the image, it's going to be pasted as an image. So I'm going to set the image as a background. This is the first one. Click on the second. Add another page and then go back to ChatGPT. I'm going to scroll up here. I'm going to copy the second one, go back here, and then paste this in, right? After I paste this in, I'm going to click set the image as background and the plus again and so on and so forth until I go to the image above it. So this one as well, I'm going to copy it because I'm looking to create a suit of images or a bundle. So this one is the third. And right now, what I can do, I can start downloading each one. First of all, I'm going to say Zen Images, right? And I'm going to click here on the download button, download. I want to download all of them as a zip file. And then I'm going to extract all of the images from the zip file so that I can actually place them inside of place it. So there's the zip file. I'm going to click. Once you open them up, click on the wizard. And then you can actually select a file where you want to download them and then click finish. And once you do, it will open up. In the meantime, you need to go back into place it and start placing your images. Now you can select a different poster color. Now, for me, in this case, I'm going to select a more of a granite looking poster color like this. So actually, well, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm going to get it back to its original color. But what I was talking about is the background. I thought they were going to change the background color, but it's okay. I'm going to actually just upload my images here. Seems that uh, they don't have that flexibility for this design. I'm going to start off with Zen image number one. And then once I crop Zen image number one, I'm going to click to go to image number two. So you can see it, it is processing in the left-hand side. It's going to add and go to design number two and then upload from your device. And I suggest you create multiple mockups for multiple camera angles. If you're looking to generate a, uh, I would say, a hook for the customer because when they see the images from front, what they look like from the side, what they look like from afar. Also, if you create a video, that would also be mostly appreciated uh, to promote this on Etsy. Now, I'm going to go for... The final one, which is the third one, right? There it is. It's going to add, crop. And right now we have a beautiful design, right, of a suit of Zen images. So this is for people that are looking for Zen uh, kind of wall art printables they want to place in their homes. And you can click download like this. There you go. And this will download as a PNG. And there it is. It actually looks pretty fantastic. And this is what it would look like on a person's home. Now let's go back into ChatGPT Generate. One last one, which is one that says a quote. So I could say generate a design showing a a cartoon tree or a live tree baby, right? Uh, and on top of it, write the quote. Right, write the quote. Be strong, for example. Be strong. And I could just hit enter. And what's going to do right now is going to generate a design with a tree, a baby tree. And at the top of it, something that says be strong. And we have seen 
a case here, a live case where, look at this, you know, uh, good things take time with a, a yellow background and just one uh, simple uh, flower here, and it's making good sales, right? So you can also experiment with those kinds of things. And here, look at this, be strong. Now, this is not bad. I could actually say, for instance, make the background yellow and the quote should be on top of the tree's head and do not make mistakes, right? When it comes to grammar. And so now it's going to basically format this, but even this one, even this one is pretty cool. I mean, this one is, is awesome as a, as a printable. It also will do extremely well on t-shirts as well. So there's multiple usages to designs. And right now we've got ourselves our beautiful wool art. Be strong. We have a small tree looking cute. And you could get this, you know, and do the same thing like like this one here, right? So basically it's just up to you where you want to take this. Now I can go ahead over here just for fun. And uh now here, these are some Zen images. Let me just close them. And I could go to place it, for instance, and take uh some sort of uh wool art right? And just put it in it so we can see how it would look like in a salon or, or something like that, because I'm interested to see how the image looks cute. Now here we have some images. I think in this particular salon, it will look well uh, because it's pretty fabulous. The colors are good. I think it's going to match. Now we just need to have a look here at the size that would be suitable for such a design. It seems that uh, it should be 750 by 900. So let's go ahead and do that. 750 by 900 in Canva. Always keep a Canva window open uh, so that you can just immediately go ahead and paste an image from Dolly 3 into it. Because remember that with Dolly 3, you cannot download these images and use them as they are because they're in WebP format. And that's not the kind of format that is suitable for uh, selling these products. And here, just place in the image, right, of the, this actually looks more like Groot. If you remember Groot, they, it looks really like Groot. And you can take the image, actually grow it. Now, this this is a square, so it's not going to grow perfectly. But from the top, we can actually do one thing. I'll leave, first of all, place this in, around the center. And then at the top here, I'm going to click in the background, to click on the background color. Now I'm going to click here and select the selector. And click using that particular selector here so that it will copy the background color and add it there, hopefully. And as you can see right now, it looks pretty, pretty good. Uh, stay strong. Now, maybe we should add a T here because there's a T that is lacking. So I'm going to use the draw option here in Canva. And you can quite honestly use this one or this one. I'm going to go with this. And then here I'm going to select the color. It should be black. And for the size, I think we need to, you know, make it a little bit bigger because this, let me just see here, right? So I need to measure the size. I think I just need to add a little bit more. Maybe 20 will do. Okay, so I think that this is pretty good because that's a T. So I'm going to add just a slight more here and then add a small T. Be strong. Now, if we can attach it, that may be... It's not going to look so good, isn't it? Be strong. You know, uh, I think, I think we could have just asked ChatGPT to correct it. But here I'm going to say the strong print. Click on the download, download button. Oh, download it as is and head back into place it here and place it inside. So I'm going to click here, upload from my device. The be strong print goes in there. You can also, uh, select the frame color. I'm just going to keep it as is and notice that it looks pretty fabulous. At least to me, it does. And then once it's processed, you can click on the download button and you'll have it in your computer. So I hope that you like this tutorial here. I'll see you in the next one. In which I'm going to show you how you can leverage Dolly 3 to create stock photos.